everybody, it's Andy, a.k.a. Max Ryder. We're back. We have done all the things that we've done. That's what hurt me last time. Uh, I did a little cheaty ugh, stuff by um, checking to see if what I was doing was right in the Temple of Cthulhu, and apparently it was. Let's turn on the timer. Let's get through here as fast as we can. Okay. I could get out through there. What's this do? It looks into the main power plant oh. where I first encountered that creature. It looks into the main power plant where so I first the, encountered uh, that creature. This was the quarter creature. I couldn't get to. I can't get out. Anyway, sorry, I'm just wasting time. Uh, I was on the right track last time in the Temple of Cthulhu, uh, but unfortunately, I went crazy. Went totally insane, mad, nuts. I hope to God I'm wrong, but my studies over these last months tell me that's a stone carving of great Cthulhu. So we're going to go in here and get locked in. We have a very short amount of time before we go insane. So I'm just going to go for it. I don't know what that stuff on the ground is. I'm not touching it. I don't, I just don't, I just don't know. Whoa! God. Oh, crap. I forgot about this part. I hate this. Walk down the corner and get it over with. Oh, there's a crazy guy in the chair and I'm walking really slow. Jump. Can I get by, please? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. It needs to move towards the door a little bit. But I have to do this quickly before I go nuts. A little more, jeez. I hope I don't have to be super precise because I don't want to go crazy and have to do all that again. Got it. The door's open. Yes, we did it. Who is that? Oh, we're in a cut. Last, we found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? I don't know. Get out. It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas! This chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. Okay, yeah, let's go. Do I have to run out? Do we make it? Are we alive? Oh, thank God. Oh, jeez! Holy mackerel, get out! Crap. We did it! All right, February 9th, 1922, night. That was one big explosion in the refinery. February 9th, is this the next day? One moment I was running for my life, the next I was face down with a mouthful of dirt and snow. I just hope everything, everything inside was destroyed. What the hell was that thing in there? Some kind of monster jellyfish? How could it move out of water? How could it even exist? My ears are still ringing with the screams of Hoover's men as the acidic slime engulfed them. Despite the casualties, though, the raid hit pay dirt. The feds recovered a briefcase with some very incriminating papers. It seems that, among other things, the Marsh family, Sebastian in particular, has been trafficking with enemies of the state. He's been offering a contagion, some kind of germ weapon, to the highest bidder that is in violation of all kinds of international treaties, but that didn't surprise me. Even if the Marshes care about such things, which I doubt, I could well believe that the news of the treaties had never reached Innsmouth. Hadn't ever reached Innsmouth. But I know there's more to the story. That's the voice I should use, like Jack's voice. Like that shrine on the lower floor of the refinery. The carvings of those hideous gods are one more thing that will probably haunt my dreams for some time to come. Why did they seem familiar? In any case, the evidence of arm stealings gave Hoover the what he needed to bring the big gun. In the big guns, literally. Innsmouth now is now under martial law. A Coast Guard cutter is stationed in the harbor and a company of Marines on the shore. Led by Robert March, the survivors... Surviving members of the esoteric order, order of Dagon are holed up in the old Masonic Hall. I suggest a pounding place to dust with Marines' artillery and the Cutter's guns, but Hoover wants Marsh alive. That's not going to be easy. The Marines who attacked the main entrance of the building went into, went into some kind of psychotic seizure before they could reach it. The brass thought Marsh had laid down some kind of gas in the area, but gas mass didn't help the second storming party. That's when I... That's when Hoover remembered the report of an old smuggler's tunnel close by the banks of the Minooksic River. That was said to lead. That was said to lead. Right. Yeah, that was said to lead to the building from below. It seems my good luck will just never ends. With so many agents killed and wounded in the refinery, Hoover was deciding. Hoover has decided. I have to take a drink of water. That I'll have the dubious honor of representing the FBI in an attack through the secret entrance in the company of a squad of Marines. They're dead. Hold on. 
I have to meet up with a Sergeant Carter. Sergeant Carter, who do you hear, Sergeant Carter? And his men by the refinery gates. Then we'll set out along the frozen river looking for the tunnel. I may never sleep again. Not that it would make much difference. The waking sounds and visions are getting worse all the time. Though if they are linked with the events that are in Innsmouth, maybe getting to the bottom of this horror will help me recover my lost memories. Time for another. This will be a big cutscene episode, everybody. So, I thought about hooking that onto the end of the last one, but we did go crazy, so I think we'll just leave that episode whatever length it is, and this will be the newest episode. Um, it's just the Imperial Arms to retire... Oh, I didn't know that. I hope I got better guns. I hope they gave me something better. Ammo will always be carried across to the next chapter. Okay, total rounds of carry, including those in the gun. Including those in the gun. Okay. Oops. All right. Saving the game. So, we're in the continue mode now. So at least I don't ever have to Have do your that. men been able to determine the location of this old smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. There's a lot of shooting. The Monuxit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Can I have a helmet? How about a gun? Can I have a Move gun? out, Marines! Secure the area! All yes, I have sir. is a 45. You heard the man. Move out. Five. You take one. I can't get by Parker, this guy. You cover our flank! Oh wait. There goes the sergeant. Let's go, Sergeant Carter. Keep your eyes peeled and your weapons ready. Okay, Sergeant Carter. So this is exactly like... This is pretty much... I wish I had a rifle. This is pretty much exactly like... Um, Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Look out, guy. Look out. Oh, he's up on the hill. You man. Oh, they're coming up behind us. Right behind you, Jack. Move out. Okay, you guys cover me. Oh, am I supposed to fall down here? Ah, damn it! I'm supposed to climb a rope. Oh, for crying out loud! I am busted all to hell. I didn't know there was a rope. Some bitch. Oh, I just fell through the. I, oh, I'm dead. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, just as deadly as always, so we'll okay, be right back. Okay, so, I'm gonna try to climb down the rope this time. Oh, I'm afraid of heights. That's so stupid. Um, oops, time. So, here's the deal. Oh. Ah! Damn it, I fell. I I'm dead again. What the hell? I'm unsure how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh! Okay, okay, maybe I have to stick to this stuff that's, that doesn't look like it'll break. I can't believe that actual trained soldiers would have any problems. Stand up, the is breaking. I better get moving. I'm moving as fast as I can. Holy crap, what's going on there? I'm gonna stick to the safe spots, though, I hope. Safe spots. Ah! No! Son of a bitch! I must have slipped off a safe spot. The is breaking up. Better get moving. So I think we've just got to stick to this white patch of ice. And I hope that's right. I was going to go over there to those guys who are beating up those Innsmouthers. Or the Innsmouthers who are beating up the, uh, the soldiers. I think it's... I think it's the soldiers are winning. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, I can get back if I wanted. Okay, so this is... Oh, shoot! There's guys up there. God, I don't want to die again. Oh, crap. I'd like to at least get into a safe spot. Oh god, the hell. There is a safe spot. So, we're gonna save here and hope for the best. If I can reach it. Why can I not? There we go. Alright, so thanks for watching everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all next time.